the sooner rather than later discard. And of course, it's somewhat self-explanatory to a certain degree, but I would like to emphasize sooner, sooner rather than later. And so I'm going to get into a little detail on what I mean. So, and this will especially help you if the narcissist or sociopath, remember all sociopaths are also going to be narcissists. So I am going to start implementing the fact that you may actually be dealing with a sociopath. Okay. Which makes this person much, much more dangerous to you. So this video will especially help if the sociopath or they could be just a narcissist, they are living in the home. Okay. So the sooner rather than later discard. So typically many times this will happen. The narcissist thinks they found new supply. Okay. Notice I said, think a lot of times the narcissist new supply will be friends, not family. And the reason this is so important is because these are situations where the narcissist that could actually be a sociopath sometimes they're making one of the worst moves they could make. And this is why we have so many homeless people sleeping outside. Okay. Because not all homeless people, but some of them are also sociopaths. So they discarded their family and their home environment for people or friends that are in the street. So sometimes it will go like this. They're beginning the discard. So the narcissist is beginning the discard with their relatives in the home. Okay. So in this instance, and in this example, I am going to say that the narcissist is living with relatives, whether it be their parents, their siblings, grandparents, aunties, uncles, cousins, their adopted family or the family that adopted them. Okay. So the relatives that the narcissist is living with is supply. So keep this in mind. Since you are a supply source to the narcissist, the narcissist is not going to get rid of you sooner versus later. Okay. Let me say this again. Since you are the narcissist supply, the narcissist is not going to get rid of you sooner versus later or sooner rather than later. It's going to be later, but that is a bad deal for you. Okay. Because during the discard from this narcissist that's discarding you while they're living with their relatives, they're going to be abusive. They're going to be mean. They're going to corrupt and disrupt the home. The entire home is going to be in an uproar. There's going to be violence. The narcissist is going to continuously be lying and manipulating and trying to turn all the relatives in the home against one another. The narcissist is going to be using various types of drugs and alcohol and nicotine. The narcissist is going to be leaving trash in the home on purpose. The narcissist is going to purposely be leaving people in the home 
with the doors unlocked because the narcissist is mad because you won't give them a house key so they can come in and out all times of hours in the middle of the night in the morning they're going to be upset with you the narcissist is going to be telling you that they're not going to help with anything the narcissist is going to be name calling and cussing at you the narcissist probably at this point they're not paying any bills they may even be jobless sometimes they may have a job sometimes they may not even if they do have a job they may be on the brink of losing that job so this is the thing sooner versus in later or sooner rather than later you don't have to wait around for the narcissist to complete the discard that's how somebody's gonna get hurt okay so you just shouldn't be waiting around for the narcissist to do the discard so instead of allowing this to go on a year two years or however long sometimes more until somebody got a beat up the narcissist or the narcissist is going to beat up y'all because at this point the narcissist is already threatening family members sometimes they're not threatening all family members sometimes they're threatening some family members because remember i mentioned drugs and alcohol is normally something that will be in these type of situations so this is a a wake-up call when someone's discarding you, you ain't got to sit around and be like, oh, I hope this is going to be over soon. Oh, I just been praying every night. No, you need to make it over. So lock that narcissist out that house and don't let them come back in. You ain't got to wait around for them to finish the discard because see, at this point, they're already hanging around unsavory characters and unsavory people. These are the people that they're discarding household members for. Okay. So they're discarding you and the family sometimes to live in the streets, sometimes to couch surf, to jump from house to house, okay? So you just don't have to be waiting around for them to discard you. You just don't. So, in some cases, you may need to go file a protection order, an anti-harassment order, take them off your lease. Hopefully, if you own a home, they are not on your deed of trust. Um, get attorneys involved. But this is the mistake many people make. They're sitting around saying stuff like this well why don't the narcissist just leave why he keep coming up in here fighting us why she keep coming up in here fighting us why won't he or she leave us alone because at the end of the day the final discard is up to the victims why would the narcissist you got to look at it from the narcissist's point of view. Your supply, you're providing a place to live, you're providing income, you're providing clothes, you're providing gifts, you're providing vehicles. So this narcissist can't stand you 
and hates you and does not love you, but they're getting a supply. So see, they're users also. So if you're willing to give them supply and they could bring pure misery in the house and continue to do that, they're going to allow it to go on to the day they die or until they're ready to do their so-called disengagement or discard and then be gone however long they're going to be gone till they start hoovering. Okay, so go ahead and do the final discard sooner rather than later so the narcissist can go on and learn a lesson. And the lesson is homelessness. A lot of times they discard you for unsavory characters that's already homeless. They relatives and already put them out their house. And don't take this person back in the house and take yourself through this cycle. You just don't have to do that to yourself. You just don't. And that is the mistake that a lot of us make. And a lot of us, we feel so weak, hurt, sad, and depressed and traumatized that a lot of times we fail to do the sooner rather than later. And guess what? A lot of times, worst case scenario, because the sooner rather than later was not done, somebody gets killed. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody just gets harmed injured somebody breaks a leg a fight breaks out and some smash and hits your foot now your toes broke so sooner rather than later that's the only way to look at it i've gone through this remember it's just a game to the narcissist. You got to always remember this. These people do not love you. Especially if they're sociopaths, they don't really have nothing for you, for real. They just don't. I mean, even just them being a narcissist where they could actually be diagnosed and be high enough on the spectrum to actually have that personality disorder, actually have an NPD, they don't care nothing about you. So you gotta stop caring. You cannot be caring about these people. Get them up out of your house. You will be safer, more secure, all the arguing and drama will cease. And when I say cease, it will be immediately. Once that narcissist is out, you will also realize that many of the arguments, sometimes even physical fights was breaking out because that narcissist was antagonizing everybody in the house. When the narcissist, that first month to two months that that narcissist begins his or her discard, because it can be a female too. Just because I'm a female, I'm not going to make you believe that narcissists are just men. They're women too. Okay. So as soon as she... Start acting a fool. 
stealing your wallet, throwing your phone in the swimming pool, talking to you crazy, calling the police, lying on you, whatever some of these females are capable of doing. Same thing men can do. Okay. Men and women that are narcissists, there may be some variations because of the ways they go about getting the supply. However, when it comes to that discard, they both do similar things. Females get violent too. Males get violent. They're discarding you while they're still in the home with you. And so that first month that it starts, document it, document what's going on and just get rid of it soon. Get rid of it now. Don't tolerate it. Your result will be better. I believe this. There's one place that you should always have peace and harmony, and that's in your home environment. That's in your home environment. There should be some level of harmony, peace, and serenity at your home. If you can't get that any place else in society, you may go out to eat, you may feel people are rude. Nowadays, in 2022, you may feel a lot of toxic energy in this new modern world, right? But there's one place that you always deserve peace. And that's when you're at your residence. Doesn't matter whether you own it, you rent it, you're roommating, you stay in a tent, you live in a vehicle, you live in a cottage, an apartment, condo, townhome, whatever you live in, that's one place that you have a right to spiritual peace. Get rid of that narcissist sooner rather than later. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you.